everybody that came here just want to come to you for a couple of minutes this evening or probably more than a couple you know that by now just sitting down here by the water you might be able to hear the waves crashing against the shore we just had a few boats go by so the drift from that is coming in it's a beautiful summer evening here the sun is just set so i'm going to try and get this done before um, it starts to get too dark uh, this morning I was just waking up actually. I've been making a point of um, really taking my days off and being home and resting and everything. Um, just to briefly fill you in, um, I, I was really busy the beginning of this year, traveled a couple of times, found myself really worn out um, in the end of March, 1st of April I contracted influenza and got very sick with that. Um, it uh, did some stuff to my lungs, which uh, caused me really to be sick for quite a while, tired, exhausted. And so just a while back, decided to take a break from everything except, um, you know, what I do at my church and then my two broadcasts for Kingdom First TV, which I do right on my, uh, right in my church office. And, um, and to basically just take time to rest so I've really been doing that really been good girl um, spending time at home and and um, going in and resting and my husband has been really really good to uh, to kind of handle things and let me do that so I'm feeling good feeling well feeling whole again and uh, you know and just uh, really concentrating on what the Lord would have me do in the season you know um, of course first and foremost um, my ministry at the church and you know whatever else he has for me so that being said, I think because I've been spending more time maybe by myself, more time being quiet, which most of you would find hard to believe me being quiet. Sometimes when you're quiet, you can hear the Lord a little bit more clearly. And um, I've been finding more and more often um, that I've been hearing his voice. I've been hearing just maybe a sentence, maybe a word or whatever. Sometimes he only gives me one word because he knows I'm a word person. So I'm going to go find out what that means, what the definition of it is, what the Greek and Hebrew is of it. And... And, and grab a context of what he's saying to me. And um, when I feel it's something that might not just be for me, then I'm going to share it. And that's kind of the way I feel tonight. This morning I was just waking up and I was uh, just laying in bed and stuff and just uh, just re relaxing. And um, I just heard the Lord say, a monumental season is coming. And um, it was so clear. It was like he was sitting there on the edge of the bed and just saying, hey, Kim, you know. And um, whenever that happens, I, I will quickly just grab my phone and I'll just speak it into the phone or grab paper and write it down um, because I, I know my mind can um, lose it quickly. And uh, so I did that. And then a little bit later, um, I just kind of laid there actually for a while and contemplated on it. And a little while later, I got up and I said, well, I'm going to look that up. I'm like, what, what's the significance of the word monumental? I didn't really feel necessarily that there was a specific thing he was telling me that was going to happen, but it was a season of monumental things. And I'm, the reason I'm sharing is because I, I, I don't believe it's just for me. I believe that we're entering into a season as a body of Christ, as believers, where we are going to begin to see suddenlies. And that's not a word I use often, but we're going to be able to see monumental things. Now, of course, monumental means huge. It means big. It means, uh, you know, like something that's really noticeable. Um, you know, if it's, something's monumental, then it's you can see it. It's not like it's hidden. It's going to be out there. But the other th definition of the word monumental that really grabbed hold of me and I really felt was significant to maybe what the Lord was saying about it was, a, of course, the root word of monumental is monument. And uh, in monumental moments in our life, there is a monument that is established. So for something, um, you know, there's times in the Bible where certain things happen in the children of Israel. Israel, they built something. They built a monument. They built something. Uh, there was something in place in that in that place where that miracle happened, where that big change happened, and that they established to remind themselves of what God had done. So along those lines, I really felt that the Lord was saying, um, that there's going to, whatever's coming, whatever's going to happen, whatever this monumental season is going to bring, um, it's, it's going to, it's going to be so big 
that it will be a monument that you will go back to as you move forward in the moments of discouragement in the moments of really not knowing what to do next and the moment in the moments of maybe just needing that extra level of faith you're going to go back to that moment when whatever happened is something that only god could do that monumental season is going to bring uh, things that only god could bring man could not do it there's going to be things that you've prayed for that god only god could do it you couldn't do it uh nobody you knew could do it your pastor couldn't do it your spiritual father leader whatever couldn't do it um only god could do it and you're gonna know that it was a god thing you're gonna know that it was it was god's power you're gonna know it was it was only god and that is a thing where you build a monument because what's coming after that we will need to have faith for and we're going to be able to go back to those things where only God did it and we're going to say well he did it there he did it there so I know he's going to do it again some of us are going to have to believe for provision we're going to have to believe for miracles we're going to have to believe for direction we're going to have to believe for buildings that we're building we're going to have to believe for land that we're that we're buying we're going to have to believe for the the ministry that God's called us to as as we get ready for this harvest that's coming up I believe a bigger harvest than ever before. Uh, the, the world is changing. Things are changing. The world is not getting better. But but God is always good. In him. And these are the days that he is moving in. As man begins to realize I need something bigger than myself. I need something bigger than, 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 than my job. I need something bigger than this government. I need the government of heaven. I need the God of this universe. And there's going to be things that are going to happen. Monumental things. Things that only God done and only explained as being done by God. And they are going to be what takes you on from there. As you move forward, you're going to be able to say, Well, I know God can do this because he did it there. There's a monument back there of when he did the impossible. Because he did the impossible there, I know the impossible is available to me up the road, right? So a season of monumental uh, things and monuments that we will be able to look at as a remembrance of what God did and that will take us forward into what he wants to do. I hope I explained that right. I, I, I believe I explained it as the Lord would have me. Um, and you know, if, if, if that's something that speaks to your heart, then you grab that by all means. I'm grabbing it. I believe monumental season is ahead and I believe God's going to do monumental things. I need some monumental things. I need some monumental things done in my family. I need some monumental healings in my children. I need some monumental things in my life. And we need some monumental things in our church. Amen. So God bless you. Have a great weekend. And by the way, speaking of, speaking of church, make sure you go tomorrow. Find a church, get planted, and do something for God. Amen. God bless you.